loves welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day and if you like these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family and for those of you who have been here thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again we are going to talk about my little spring pickup today we're getting our our stuff together for spring okay i'm not gonna go crazy for spring i'm not i really like to go intense for fall um so i'm not like a huge spender for the spring summer months but i do like a little bit uh, you know some quality pieces here and there before we get into that let's go ahead and talk about our spring fragrances today's video is in collaboration with dossier for those of you who are not familiar with dossier please go ahead and stop what you're doing and check out my previous videos because dossier has been doing it okay and they are doing it yet again dossier is a company based on the concept that everybody anybody can afford a luxury fragrance without the luxury prices um they have really nice quality really nice packaging so many fragrances to choose from and the prices range from about 39 to 59 dollars depending on what you choose a luxury fragrance for 39 dollars is a steal okay because you guys know usually luxury fragrances are like 300 bucks which i just cannot justify <laughs> i cannot will not can't do it okay especially after finding dossier so we are going to look at two fragrances today the first this one is Woody Sage and it is right here. This fragrance, I have not smelled something similar to it before. You guys know that with Dossier, I love taking popular fragrances, going on Dossier's website and placing an order and then kind of getting a feel for what the fragrances are. This one is new to me. Um, so this one, this one has notes of grapefruit, fig tree, amber wood, sage, of course and it is inspired by Jean Malone, wood sage and sea salt so if you're familiar with that let me know but i think that this is lovely for spring like lovely i'm so i'm very much into don't get me wrong i love a fragrance that's like very into your face but i love a classy not so strong like what is that type of fragrance and i feel like this is that it's just so classy. It's very soft. It's very like day to day. It can be like a day to night in my opinion. Yeah, it's so nice. Like I just, I just so feminine and I'm such, you guys know how I am. Like I'm a feminine, um, I have a lot of feminine energy. That's like just who I am. So I love a feminine fragrance. So Woody Sage is like definitely, if you're into that, definitely check this one out. It'll be linked down below. So let's get into our second one. This one, I took a little risk. I'm not gonna lie. This one is like, uh, in your face I can tell so this one is called spicy orchid and it looks like this it has this beautiful deep tone and this one has notes of cinnamon pink pepper and mandarin um it has plum vanilla as well yeah this is so unique definitely a, a nice nighttime a warm night spring night fragrance this is really nice yeah, if you want something very unique, like something you have not smelled before, I feel like this is it. Because even for Tom Ford, not that many people go for this type of fragrance. You guys know Tom Ford runs you like $300. No way, okay? We got the same thing right here. Same type of vibe, same longevity. Dossier fragrances last a long time. So go ahead and check them out below. Thank you again, Dossier, for collaborating with me for another video. And let's get into our spring pickup. So I have not um really been focusing on bags this year you guys know i love a handbag some some girls love shoes some girls love handbags i'm a handbag girl like i just love a nice handbag um i really do like nice heels as well to be honest i feel like i can i really cannot justify luxury heels all the time but i have had my eye on quite a few to be honest like and the only reason I can't justify luxury heels because of the resale. When I like to buy something, I know how I am. I get tired of things um, sometimes. And I want to buy something that I can sell or buy something that I can pass down. And it will still be like really nice quality. But when it comes to a bad girl, I'm going to be eyeing it, okay? And that's what I have been doing. So this is my second ever Jack Moose purchase and it probably will not be my last because I love Jack Moose. They're so affordable. You cannot get a color like Jacquemus for the price that they offer. Bottega does colors beautifully, but for the Mini Jody, I think it's like $2,200 now. 
Are you crazy? No way, okay? Absolutely not. I'm just not doing it. So that's why I love Jacquemus because I get that pop of color, nice quality for an affordable price, okay? Um, I also love the fact that I can get a Jacquemus bag for 50% off, 60% off. I have never paid full price for any Jack. Well, I only have two now, but I've never paid full price for either one of them because I bought it on Essence. So let me show you the bag. This is her right here. Isn't she stunning? Oh, she's so unique, so different. A lot of people have the Chiquito, which is that tiny bag. And I like the tiny bag as well. I think it's such a vibe, but I just like something different. And this is so unique. This is a new style of bag and it is a shoulder bag. It goes on your shoulder like this. What I love about Jack Moose is, I feel like you can put on a Jack Moose bag and it just elevates any outfit. Not every luxury brand does that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, some Louis Vuitton bags, yeah, it's a nice Louis Vuitton bag, but it doesn't do much for your outfit. Versus Jack Moose, it's gonna add some structure. It's gonna add something interesting. And that's what I really like about it. It has this card holder right here, this red piece, which is so like, why did you put that red piece there? But it's, it works to me. Like, I just love how edgy it is. Um, you can like put something in there if you want to. I haven't yet. This strap is also removable. And this can be a little pink clutch, which is so cute. This structure of bag is similar to the Louis Vuitton Felici, if you're familiar with that. And honestly, I'm not gonna say I'm over Louis Vuitton, but guys, I'm not gonna buy a Louis Vuitton bag probably ever. Like, <laughs> I'm just being honest, like probably ever. I might like look into a luggage piece in the future, maybe. This fits a similar amount to like a wallet on chain. Um, just like your keys, your phone, the essentials like that. But yeah, it's a really nice pickup if you guys are interested. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. Thank you for your constant support. Please go ahead and check out the description below for all the details. And I will see you guys in my next one.